Right, uh, in this video, we are going to go through the process of manufacturing. So I click on manufacturing there. So you can see we did our BMO in the previous video. So we are going to, to manufacture these two items. So I click back on manufacturing. So we are going to do the manufacturing the similar way. Make sure that your workstations, uh, we have two workstations here, mixing stations. Make sure that the production capacity is uh, set correctly. So our station is a good capacity to manufacture over 1000. Uh, so after that, let me go back to manufacturing again. So let us start manufacturing now. So we are going to first manufacture metallic, then we are going to manufacture red metallic. So red metallic will behave in the color. The first one doesn't come with color. So I click on add work order, then item to manufacture. Uh, we are going to put metallic a paint and then quantity to manufacture we are going to put 10 and then instruction uh, you put that you can just copy this for use uh, next time then you go under configurations uh, you put the source after under the source you need to select the source where the items are going to be coming from and we have the target the name of the warehouse where the items are going to be stored if it's, if it's going to be all in the same warehouse just put the same name all, all here where it's different warehouses after that you click on materials and operations and then you come here under operations you click on the completed quantity and under status quantity uh, pending is 10 and then workstation you pick your workstation as the mixing workstation uh, operational description if you want to describe uh, what is going to be happening you can also put here uh, planned start time you can select now uh, operation time you can select is going to take about 10 minutes after that uh, you can close that expected delivery we are expecting this one to be done today uh, more info you can also set up anything that you need to put and then you click on save and then submit so when you submit uh, it goes to this state where it's written not started so you need to click on start and then material to manufacture here is 10 you click on create so the moment you click on create it comes here you put again your instruction again and then you click on save and then submit right uh, so we are going to wait for 10 minutes for mixing process to to go through so right so 10 minutes have lapsed so i can go back to home there and then you go to manufacturing and then you go to work order so you can see here it's showing us uh this work order that is in process and all others that are in process and others that have not started so make sure that your process here uh is correctly uh, showing so I come here under this one that is in process in metallic paint this is the one that you are dealing with you click on finish uh, items for manufacture is 10 and then instruction again you put the same instruction that we did put there and then you submit if you want to print this you can also print this so this one is also showing us our instruction uh, for manufacture, the bill of material, a uh, finished goods, the items that were manufactured, or the raw materials that were involved in manufacturing, and the manufactured good here, and the manufactured good is 10. So that's it for manufacturing. So we are going to do another process again, where we are going to manufacture this again, but if you are going to do your manufacturing at only one stage, that will be done but if you need to go again for the next process you can continue with me on this video so you go again on manufacturing and then you go on work order and then you create an again another work order so you click on add work order there and then you select the item to manufacture so the item to manufacture is red metallic paint and we want to manufacture 10 of the red metallic paint and the instruction is uh, boil, boil for five minutes. 
so let me just copy so that I'll use this later. I go to configuration source where else is going to be uh, stores and then you work in progress where else it's going to be making progress target is going to be finished product finished goods so we're going to do the same process that we did uh we go to materials so here it's showing us the materials that are required we require these uh all items and then we go to we go to operation these are operations that are needed uh completed quantity i'm going to put 10 here workstation we are going to continue using the mixing station plan the start you're going to start now operation time is going to be about five minutes i close that we, we've got two operation times here the second one again i'm going to put completed quantity as 10 uh, Workstation, we are going to remain at the same workstation or at the same machinery. Uh, we are going to start now again. Operation time is going to take about five minutes. Uh, and then I can close it by clicking on that arrow. After that, uh, I think we are all set. Expected delivery. Make sure you also put, we are expecting to finish this job of manufacturing today. So now I click on save and then uh, if you want to print it, you can print it. Then you click on submit. So you need to click it on submit. Uh, when you come here, you click on print. So you can print this one and give this one to the people who are going to be manufacturing. So it's going to be showing the items to manufacture is red metallic. Quantity to manufacture is 10. Uh, status, we haven't started yet. Since we are going to give it to the manufacturer, view of material number, this is the formula number. The instructions, these are the instructions. Serial number or bench, we are not going to be using this. A update consumed materials, correct. Where the, where, where the items are going to be found, they are going to be found in stores. They are, after finishing, they are going there, etc, etc. Uh, so basically, that's it. Then I go back to my work order. So it's currently showing not started. So I can click again on it, and then I click on start, and then I click on create, then you click on save. Uh, I will put the instruction there. Save, and then submit. After submit, uh, one quantity is not available for red uh, color powder at posting time. So it's showing us that there's no quantity available this red powder so we need to make sure that we have got the quantity available so let me go back to stock adjustments and and make some stocks adjustment i need to put some quantity so that we can be able to do the manufacture we didn't set it to allow a default warehouse is going to come from stores and we're going to put red powder uh, let me just put quantity 100 there. Valuation rates and just put it at dollar and then click save and then submit. I want to go back again to our manufacturing, so I click that E to go to home. Then I go to manufacturing, then I go to work order, then I click on my red metallic, I click on start and then create and I put that instruction and then save. And then submit uh, quantity for ammonia warehouse. There is 18 for ammonia. We need 20. Okay, okay, it's fine. Uh, just bear with me there. I didn't check the quantities. Let me just do another stop take or stop adjustment for for this metallic uh, default warehouse is going to be stores item the item that he has dealing with. It should be ammonia. So there is currently 18. Let me just put 80 on the end. And then submit that. I hope this time we have enough stock for our manufacturing. So I go back to manufacturing. Work orders. It's not yet started because there is no raw material. So I click it. Then I click on start. Click on create. And then save. 
instruction mandatory so you need to put the instruction